Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. The date and time is 8-8-2017. A Tuesday the Lord has shown me some amazing things in my life and it's been challenging to get people to first believe and then understand even my own family members but this is no surprise this is how our walk is when we are shown things by God and we press on it started in July on the 5th uh, July 5th 2012 where an angel a messenger angel in my dream showed me the numbers 3 and 7 and said they meant war also this year I was shown the number 9 and 7 in a vision and heard the word repent this morning in a vision I simply saw a blue seven, bright blue seven, and I heard nothing. The Holy Spirit has revealed to me after three days of prayer on this, three days of prayer, that he <clears throat> is showing me signs in season, in seasons. The third hour in the ninth hour and then completion seven just silence so I'm gonna try an attempt and this has been challenging this is my third attempt on this video today after three days of prayer like I said to share this with you please bear in mind that I'm not perfect I'm trying to share something a perfect God showed me not being perfect myself and there's a lot of information and I've decided to just put it forth the same way I have year after year after year as is <clears throat> to allow the Holy Spirit to just reveal so this is my house right here where you can see the little hand on the bottom of the screen towards the left In October of 2014, the 13th to be exact, I woke up abruptly at 4 o'clock in the morning and the Lord told me, grab your cell phone and go out in the backyard. I want to show you something. And I did. I woke up at 4 a.m. We live in a rural area, so it's, it's pitch black. No lights. We don't have, even have street lights on our street. And I went into my backyard and I saw something that has stuck with me ever since. I saw a big fiery red mass over my house and over this school on the right called Rio del Oro. It was headed, it was headed south towards Sacramento, the capital here it was moving and it was, it was changing shapes, changing shapes and it was growling, it was growling. I'm gonna play you that video and I'm gonna show you what the Lord has revealed to me in the last three days of prayer. There's also a witness that has emailed me this morning. His name is Brother David and he lives in Arizona. He sent me an email this morning. I can count on one hand the number of times he's emailed me since I've known him, which has been a few years. He sent me an email about a video I'd made which I can't find about the United States being separated in half and he was showing the word fire fire and so I'm gonna let him bring that forth in the comments because I don't want to speak for him but it was just a confirmation for me the Lord just said just make the video so I'm, I'm standing out right here in my backyard and I'm looking towards the Northeast in this direction just like this and this is a map and the Lord showed me something this morning because it was basically hovering right here just right above the school this morning for the first time I've noticed some things because the Holy Spirit reveals in in the time he chooses to reveal not our time no matter how much you pray 
This court over here is Mustang court. I'm going to show you something. Please bear with me. Mustang is a form of a horse because when I saw this, the first thing I even titled the video, so I said the, the red horse will ride. I'm talking about the red horse in Revelation 6. Appaloosa right here. Right in my right behind my house. Also another form of horse. And I'll zoom out. When you come over here to where this red fiery mass was hovering over here, the Holy Spirit just this morning revealed to me that this is Spanish ranch. Just Spain, like I heard Spain. And over here, gold nugget, like the Oroville Dam spillway breaking, causing an emergency where I live after being warned by FEMA in a famous video with over 1 million views before it happened. And they're finding gold nuggets and the government's trying to keep them all to themselves. Later down here at our local Walgreens, the only store here in this rural area, I was coming around this corner and I seen a fallen angel come down and I had a vision of it hitting this gas station. All of this stuff is on here, verifiable. Please test the spirits and please pray. Fallen angel had descended down on this area, and I don't know why this area, other than it's where I live. And this gas station caught on fire. All of that, everything I just told you is on this. So I want to show you now, okay, just remember, horses. Because I bet you if I looked hard enough, I could find four horses in here. But that's not the point of this video. I'm just talking about the red horse. I want to show you the video I took that night unedited original 1080p high definition and I want you to hear the growling and I want you to note the the videos that it shows related all to this is an urgent call to prayer regarding polling places and schools and explosions I don't believe any of this stuff is it's random so let's go to the video again let's get the date in description this was October 13th, 2014, taken at 4.30 in the morning. And me following God, uh, as instructed, give the type of camera type. And it says, he said, warn my people, the red horseman rides. Now keep in mind, I'm not trying to set my own timeline other than God's timeline. And I'll put a link to this video for you to analyze all you want. He shows things in advance before they happen. And these are advanced warnings, and, and I give him all the glory, and I thank God for this. Listen carefully. Tell me, do you hear a growling? Some have compared it to a, a lion. And then I'm going to show you when the red blob appears. It's, in, it's at 0.5 slow. And let's go to the video. So you want to be watching right up here in this area for the red, see that red mass right there, red mass, red mass, right here where the mouse pointer is. And then you're going to see it rise up, you're going to see it rise up higher into the sky. Just watch the center of your screen towards the bottom and you're going to see it rise up and listen to the sound. Bottom of the screen, middle. There it is. Look, you see it? Now, I want to, let's stop. I've been showing this for a long time, and it's pixelated. I want you to see, I just stopped it at 37 seconds. Yeah, that's just totally random. One minute, 37 seconds. I want you to understand that when I saw it with my naked eye, it was not pixelated at all. It was a mass the, the size of, say, like North Carolina. And it would move like a cloud but it wasn't a cloud it was so intensely bright red like you see this bar on here all in one mass it's like growling so here it is i'll put a link to this video 
it's a warning sign. I'm like, it's nothing I've ever seen in my life and can't explain, but I'm trying to. Up to the left. If you think things are random, I have never seen anything that in my life ever again and never before. And it was a warning sign and God is the one that told me to go out there and view it. This is crazy. But it's real. I saw that thing. It was moving. It was heading towards the capital of California. The thing was growling. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Well... Being able to die and live again and go to heaven sounds crazy too. I saw that for a reason. So I began to check out every aspect of this I could for a period of three days. And I'm going to show you some things I was led to. On Oct the, the video was taken on October 13th of 2014. So I brought up things in history. This is the same format I've done all of my videos. And every time I've done this, they've either came true or they're gonna come true, all of them. It's verifiable proof and evidence. On October 13th, in this year, I believe it was the year 54, I'll show you some other things, but I wanna start here. This is what famous things that happened on this day on October 13th, the day I saw that fiery mass. It says, Vandals and Allens cross the Pyrenees and appear in Hispania. The Pyrenees. And it stuck out to me, as did Nero and uh, the state of the country of Egypt. So I'll show you this. Nero succeeds Claudius as Roman Empire. Remember, two of us now, myself and Sister Holly, have heard the word Ottoman Empire, which is Turkey. But now, God is showing me finally why he gave me the word Spain. A minute. So let me show you some other things and put this in here. I'll just go down. Battle of Interest, West Virginia, which actually is where uh, Holly lives. That's also a coincidence, I guess. And then I'm being facetious because, you know, Teddy Roosevelt, someone I've seen in dreams and visions three times now over the last year, just happens to be in here. He threatens to start uh, to use army troops to work coal mines. This brings the owners to agree to abide by a commission of arbitration. That It just happens to be there, you know. And, and this right here, Mecca falls without struggle to Saudi forces. And there was also something in here, Central Park, snow. There's something in here about Fidel Castro executed. Again, as some people want to believe, this is all random. A man dies in a premature bomb explosion in Dublin. Right here, this is what I was looking for, Egypt. Because these are all countries that are involved in what's going down these end times. 1981, Vice President Hosni Mubarak elected President of Egypt. Those are the main things I wanted to show. So back to the that Pyrenees thing, the very, I think it was at the top. Like I said, this is challenging to, sh to show, and I'm asking you to bear with me. I don't have a start timer finish time for this I'm going to show a lot see this just this morning after three days of just studying every aspect of this I could for clues I saw this Pyrenees and so I I want to put it up in Google Earth remember we're talking about this October 21st eclipse the September 23rd revelation sign which mentions a red dragon in Revelation 12 a red dragon in the sky a red dragon in the sky and I'm going to put in 
that word the Holy Spirit just showed me. I think it's Pyrenees, kind of like pyro, you know, or Pyrenees. I don't know. When you see the definition, though, you're going to, I don't know what you're going to do. That's not my concern, <laughs> honestly, to be worried about what you're going to do. And you know where it's at? It appears to be in Spain. The country the Lord showed me. He showed me Turkey and Pakistan and Spain. Here's Pyrenees. I think it's, it, it looks like it's spelled Pyre, and I'll show you that. Pyrenees Mountains and Pyrenees. It, it's on the border. And this is Spain. And remember the Straits of Gibraltar? It's right here, south of Spain, leading into this. Uh, is this the Strait of Gibraltar? Yeah, it is. Okay, so remember, for unbelievers and skeptics, these this is all <clears throat> just one big coincidence. Video after video of nothing but coincidence. For those with eyes to see and ears to hear, they're, they're, they're like, there's no way this is coincidence. So here's the word that I just showed you that corresponds with the date I seen that red fiery mass and it's in the exact area you know five years later remember we're talking about signs and seasons uh, here it is Sun capital S-O-N okay <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna add to this I mean I think that's strange but let's go to another map So you can see where it's located. It's right here on the border. Looks like the E is hard. E, Pyre Pyrenees, like the, okay, so. Is that soft or hard when it has that? Isn't it a straight line over if it's hard and if it has that dash, it's soft? Eh, eh, so we'll go Pyrenees, Pyrenees. Help me, somebody help me, Lord Jesus. Because I believe if you go I, if you go south of this, I don't know what's going to happen in Spain. Look at that Toledo. Like Toledo, Ohio. You go down to this Gibraltar, you're going to see massive war. This is the entrance into the, the major war that's going to happen. And, and, and so here's Turkey and Istanbul, which was also a part of my uh, vision. And you come over to, oh, here's Turkey, man. So then what is this? Hold on. South America. I need to get off stuff that I, I don't know of. I come over here. To Israel. See, it's like an entrance to the war Armageddon by water. Let's look up this word, pyre. Or is it pyre? Let's find out. Pyre. I was right. Pyre. Pyre. What the Holy Spirit showed me in a miraculous way that I can't even understand is a heap of combustible material, especially one for burning a corpse as part of a funeral ceremony. Here's a definition in Spanish. Pyra. Let's see if I could translate it here. I had it translated a second ago bonfire in which formerly the bodies of the deceased and the victims of the sacrifices were burned formal bonfire now what did the email that brother david in arizona a, 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 a state i visit, visited say it meant it was referencing a video about the united states being split in half and him being shown a fire the eclipse on August 21st is going to be seen here where I am sitting in the same place that red fiery mass I was told as the red horse was going to ride appeared over a school in these horses streets named by horses names and I'm told the red horse will rise and that it meant war and so I look at the streets one of them is Spanish which takes me to Pyrenees, which happens to be in Spain with the street, you know. And we visit that, and it's the same word God told me. There's, I, I just know there's no way that this can be coincidence. 
So this morning in a vision, I saw a bright blue seven. Let's go to this. And as I search for seven, this is where I want to just show you what I'll start at the top of the page, top of the page. Google is manipulating my search. All I searched for was bright blue seven in sky, exactly like my vision. And again, there was no reference to anything under this. First it was three, the third hour, and then it was nine. So it was three with the seven, and then nine with the seven, and now just a seven with no reference point. Completeness. And, and these are the images that are showing up. I just heard the word in my spirit, and I'll share it with you. Hologram. Project Bluebeam. What's this? What is this? May 8th. May 7th, Jupiter. They know it. Like I said, I'm going to go through this part. I refuse to be rushed. Because I don't even know. I'm not good. At, it's North Carolina. The, several, the next several nights, Jupiter will shine bright next to the moon right after sunset. What's the date of this? Anybody? May 6, 2017, something about Jupiter. In a state, one of the one of the seven states I visited. Let's go back. I want to look at something else. What exactly is this? Again, not being an expert. Does anybody know? If any of this stuff I'm showing has anything to do with uh, that Revelation 12 sign. I honestly can say I do not know. So anyway, so let's go back to images. And it keep, <laughs> it keeps, we'll get to that. <laughs> Abby, come on. <laughs> it keeps showing this European un Union flag. Searching for, and there's it's not seven stars on here, so I don't know why. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that right? Is there really 13 stars? So like the, really the, the day I saw the red horse? I don't know. I'm moving on. Look at that watch. It's 10, 10 over here. I'm looking at everything, man. I'm telling you. Into. It says storm. Three, four, five. I'm looking at everything, man. So that search of bright blue seven in the sky is bringing up the strangest things on my computer. Like this, I'll show you. Well, here's a seven on a blue shirt. She would like to know how many stars are on this European Union flag. What all of this is? There's Turkey. See, that's what I mean by manipulating images. What is this? Is some type of asteroid flying in? Just trying to get everything in here and obedient. Yeah, I could turn this into a two-hour video, I could tell. I want to show you this flag that comes up when I search for bright blue seven in sky. It shows this flag of the sun. So I looked it up. It's Macedonia. And it's this, it's this argument with Greece over the symbol of the sun. A symbol from the grave site of the ancient kings of Macedon from the flag Greek considered it a Greek symbol, and so they they changed it to add eight raid, the sun, the new sun. There's that word again, sun, of liberty. I want to go and look at this, and I think that's. I got one more thing to show you. So 
signs and seasons. I, I've already looked at this myself. I want to show you where Macedonia is. That flag right there with the sun on it. Try to get some uh, wisdom and knowledge and understanding here. Oh, you know what? I recognize this. And you know how I recognize it? Is this Thessalonica. Uh, this is the first time I've mentioned this. But so I know exactly where we're at. We're going to go down here. Sorry, I forgot to turn that off. Yeah. Thessalonica. This is the same map right here. With Istanbul, Turkey. And that word barrage, remember Bursa? It's the same map. People wonder why don't you like edit your videos down to three minutes because of stuff like this. See this Bursa? This is where I saw the word barrage, a sudden military action. Let me see who's texting me and see. Oh wow. It's Brother Joseph Advocate for Jesus, who's also probably texted me less than ten times in my entire life if I had to count. Right, what was that? So recognize this area. It's Istanbul in Turkey. Right here. It's the Ottoman Empire. That was shown to not only me, and that makes this the Black Sea, but also Sister Holly. Is this the Black Sea? Just see if you see. I'm, I'm sorry. Like these are things we have to suffer through with my imperfections. It's a sea of marmora, whatever that is. Don't get bored. I'm. I want to close out with something here. It's Turkey near Istanbul. Okay. So it kind of stands for. Is it that little? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the area that myself and Holly saw. I think it was like an EMP type fire blast hitting some type of mosque is what she saw. It's all revolving fire. Let me show you one last thing. Thank you for listening. Please watch and share this. I'm telling you this is urgently important. Matter of fact, speaking of October, it's when this flag was established of the sun representing grave kings and graves kings and graves huh? a symbol from the gravesite of the ancient kings when brother david emailed me <clears throat> this morning about that the united states being split in half and i'm not saying it's going to be split in half i'm saying we're being shown signs and seasons. I realized that the number seven I saw in a vision this morning that God was using this as his body to show us the same thing. So there's 14 states that are going to be affected by this. Uh, well, not affected. That's not the right word. Be able to observe this August 21st, uh, August 21st solar eclipse over the United States of America which I'm calling a blackout. It's not really a blackout, but I'm calling it from blood moon to blackout. It starts up here in Oregon. Now I want to show you something absolutely amazing and it covers 14 states. I'll be able to view this the best. Uh, 14, which is seven and seven, the number I'm being shown. Oh my gosh, I will Holy Spirit, hold on. I'm sorry, he just told me another thing. Let, let's count these dots they put on this map. I don't know who made it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For three days I prayed. What are you showing me concerning this eclipse and the revelation sign in the sky and that red fiery mass above my house? What are you showing me? And then I see this seven. Before I come out here and see this, I'm shown in a vision of bright, bright blue seven and I'm led, led to a fire of uh, bodies and stuff in an area 
that, that was spoken to me by a holy living God. Fire and dead bodies. And so I want to show you some, something else totally amazing. I went out to the coast of Oregon here in the seven states I visited. And I prophesied an earthquake coming to the west coast. And there were people that follow this channel that were there in that room that morning. Brother James is one of them. I pointed out to the ocean and I said, it's going to hit right there. And I pointed out to the west coast. I was in uh, Medford. In the last state, uh, the last state the, whole, the Holy Spirit directed me to go to was North Carolina. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the East Coast. And I prophesied God's judgment exactly close to where that uh, that seventh red dot is. Now let me show you something else that the Holy Spirit just spoke to me in amazing fashion. I've been getting texted by another brother named David in Texas concerning Trump and Yellowstone. I'm going to have to bring that video up. I'm going to pause. I found it. This is another video from 2013. I had a dream <clears throat> and I saw seven earthquakes in one area. And Brother David, the one that's been texting me all week this week concerning his concern for Trump's safety, Yellowstone, a couple other things can't don't come to my mind right now. See, I, I, I was seeing seven earthquakes over here. Turkey, Italy, Germany area. Can everybody see this? And he was seeing seven earthquakes at the same time. It says, I see seven earthquakes, then another sees seven earthquakes, and then we got confronted. I have, I'm going to watch this right now after I end this. So he saw seven earthquakes, and I saw seven earthquakes, which is 14. This morning I see a flashing blue, red, seven, and I feel like I heard like completeness of the seasons and the hours and the watches for watchmen. Please do not put any dates on that. I I don't know what it, I don't know what it means, and I don't like to add to it. But I do want to go back in closing and end with where this all started: me obeying God, and going out into my backyard. And told the the red horse will ride. And this this five year journey of a watchman, I have seen amazing things that humble me to the point of tears sometimes. You know, but <clears throat> when you ask for something, if it's God's will, He'll give it to you. I asked to be able to see things in the spiritual realm when I was fifteen years old. And God granted my request. And uh, it's not something I would really wish on someone else. And keep in mind, I'm not the only one. This is not a Paul channel. This is a Warn the World channel. Anybody have any comments on this? Let's, uh, any of this stuff, share it. Let's dissect it. I believe with all my heart I wouldn't be making this video on the third day right here after seeing that seven. That something is going to happen between now and September 24th. The thing is with me, I'm not trying to say what they are exactly because I don't know. I know other people are, but that's how you can get into error. I'm just showing the revelation I received without adding to it. And it's forming a bigger and bigger and bigger, more accurate picture as I do. There's the red for sure to break there. See it? The red horse rides. Some people are trying to form this into their timeline of... I, I'm telling you, I know God's seven-year timeline. I don't need any reproof on that. Because I know what our minds are set to believe by people on YouTube. 
See this star begins to flash right here. There it is. Look, that red blob. Now, if you can, if you can use this video in the roaring lion or growl. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rewatch this entire video and rewatch the video about the seven earthquakes and seven earthquakes, and uh, I'll see you in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. And just be the best. Uh, just be the best follower of Jesus Christ you can be, because we're heading into that season, final season. I'll speak for myself. I am. I'm heading into this and. I'm preparing for it. I'm prayed up and ready for whatever happens. I have no fear.